We own Truck Month because we earn it every day. You see, more people trust Ford F-Series for the toughest jobs out there, across this country, in overwhelming numbers. We own work. And they come in handy on weekends, too. During Ford Truck Month, get $5,000 total cash back on Ford F-150. See your local Southern Quality Ford dealer. Check the facts. Visit FordWeOwnWork.com. Ever have one of those days where it's absolutely perfect outside and you just sit on the couch and feel guilty about it? We didn't think so. With an exceptionally smooth taste, only 95 calories and 2.6 carbs, Michelob Ultra is the superior light beer, perfect for every side of you. Welcome back to Inside Southeastern Baseball with head coach JRTs, presented by your local Southern Quality Four Dealers and also Champagne Beverages. We're at our new home here in 2013, Benny's Place, right here in downtown Hammond. Well, it's become a trademark of Southeastern Baseball. If they pick up the first two games of a series, they're going to wear the solid gold uniforms on Sunday going for the sweep. Let's check out the game three action against UT Martin. Here we go Sunday, and I'll tell you what, you know it's going to be a good day when you see a sign like that. Play like a rocket chart today, one of the greatest high schools in the country, St. Stanislaus. And when we went on Friday, say, you know what that means? Solid goal Sunday. And you can see Coach Riser getting things going. And another true freshman, Tate Cino, getting a start on the mound. And he did not disappoint. Tate was unbelievable this night. Six innings, six punch outs, and just absolutely dominating UT Martin hitters. I'll tell you what, this kid's going to be very, very special for us. See that breaking ball, swing and miss? His fastball was exploding. His breaking ball, he threw for strike. You can see Tate showing a lot of poise, stranding that runner second base, a big part of the ball game, eliminating a big inning, leaving that runner at second base. Great job by Tate, and after that, he was just dominating, retired the next 10 batters he faced. Super, super job by CNO. This is the inning, we get things going. Lad Rhodes puts a little pressure, hits one of six holes, shortstop misplays it. Lad gets down that line, go visit Coach Hodges with that hard hat, and here go the lines, hit and run action. Great job by Sam getting on top of that pitch and super job of base running by Lad Rose going to third base and Sam taking advantage of them throwing the ball to third, getting to second base with the line up sign. Ben Hernandez does it once again, laces a shot down that right field line. Two run score. Lines tied up and you can see right here started putting that pressure on UT Martin. What great base running by Ben getting all the way to second base on that ball. Never checked out one bit. Jesse Burat. It's a good sack fly, hits it to the left field. Good job of base running, good job of scoring right there by Hernandez. Good productive out. Another hit and run action, Larry Slade laces up the middle right in front of the center fielder's face. Corey Bryant never checks up and goes all the way to third base. Good job by Corey. You see when Coach Rise with a little two-step excitement. That's a good job of hitting by, by Aaron Hay. Great job of hitting. Running third, less than two outs. Does a good job, tough pitch, driving it to the outfield, scoring at Corey Bryant. Jamison Fisher, another two out hit. Single up the middle. Harry Slade rumbling and stumbling his way around third base for the run. Good job by Harry. And that's another good base running by Jamison Fisher, getting all the way to second base. Lions put up a foul spot, and that's all we need on this night. Another ball. The pitchers real occupied the base runs. Sam Roberson at second base, box him over to third base. Straight steal at home, absolute great job. Okay, Coach Rise noticed another weakness. Sam Roberson straight steals home. And what a good job out of hitter swing, keeping that catcher back to score a run. Lions sweep UT Martin on Sunday by a score of nine to three. Nine hits, Tate CNO picking up the win. It's the third true freshman in consecutive days. Going one and zero on the season. Ben Hernandez with a double, Corey Bryant, and Sam Roberson with a double. Well, coach, you get the sweep on Sunday, and I don't know what it is, but something magical about those gold on gold uniforms. Your team comes out, believes they're going to win, and they take down UT Martin. And what a great way to start the year with a big sweep over a Division One opponent. You know, the tone was set by Tate Cino on the mound. Another true freshman got the start, went six strong innings, six strikeouts. Gave us a chance to win, and our offense absolutely exploded. You know, the biggest thing was we were so pressurized on Sunday, putting pressure on those guys, stealing bases, hitting and running, 
backspinning some baseballs, putting pressure on the defense. It was fun to watch. We saw in game two, you steal home uh, with Jamison Fisher. Well, in game three, Sam Roberson steals home. I don't know if it's ever been done in a weekend where you have two uh, steals of home in one weekend, but also both by your catchers. So that just shows everybody on this team can run. It, you know, that's the thing about, I like about this club is one through nine, you can do a lot of different things. Guys can steal bases, hit and run, control the barrels. They can do a lot of good things, and it just puts so much pressure on the team. You know, you saw it. The other team finally gave in a little bit. We put so much pressure on Sunday, and they cracked. Well, in 2012, Stefan Lopez was the stopper of the year and got a lot of the credit, which he deserved. But then also another guy at the back end of that bullpen who had a fantastic year in 2012 was Dylan Hills. Well, the country has taken notice, as this year he's a preseason stopper of the year nominee. Let's hear the story. 75 players, including southeastern Louisiana's Dylan Hills, have been named to the initial watch list for the ninth annual National Collegiate Baseball Ride. Association Stopper of the Year Award given to the top relief pitcher in NCAA Division I baseball. Dylan's teammates and coaches say he's very deserving of this honor. Dylan's a great teammate, very religious and godly man, and will do anything for any teammates. You know, he's a great dude and uh, you know, a great pitcher, obviously, since he's named to the Stopper of the Year list. I mean, I'd say it's extremely deserving. You know, I think it, it's. Uh, it's kind of a natural progression for a closer, you know, going from a role Dylan was in where Stefan couldn't have done, you know, he couldn't have accomplished what he did last year without Dylan, you know, taking a lot of those innings and taking a lot of pressure off of him and giving him clean innings to go out and, and do that with. And, uh, you know, we're looking for Dylan to do more of that this year. Hills, a junior from Ponchatoula, Louisiana, was nominated for the award one last season by a former teammate, Stefan Lopez. In 2012, Hills compiled a 9-4 one-loss record to go with a stellar 1.64 ERA. He limited opponents to 31 hits and 49 and a third innings of work, good for a 181 batting average, and struck out 51. He also recorded a pair of saves. I thought it was pretty awesome. Uh, I mean, not many people get named to it, and also last year, one of our players, he won the award, so I think it's a, it's a great honor, definitely. Nominations for the Stopper of the Year Award were made by Baseball Sports Information and Media Relation Contacts. The initial list of 75 will be updated with a midseason release the week of April 16th, including the National Saves Leaders. At the conclusion of the regular season, the Division I National Saves Leader and four other relief pitchers. And while Hills would love to be on the final list, he wants to win and puts team success ahead of personal awards. I don't get so excited about when I when I get a personal award. Man, it, if we could come away this season with a, a championship, you know, that, that would be more to me than anything else, really. Hills is a leader on and off the field, and teammates credit Dylan with being the driving force for the Lions on the field and in the locker room. It's very kind of inspiring the way he lives and how, how he handles himself in a lot of different situations. You know, he leads the team like, like he's the actual leader of the team and um, he just gives a model to all the freshmen. One of the most mature kids I've ever been around, um, especially being a 21, 22 year old kid. You know, like you said, he's married, he's been married for a couple years and you know, he's a, he's a family guy and you know, it kind of, it, it, it shows on the field, you know, what, what's important to him and, uh, and that makes him so good. Well, Coach, it's always great to have one of your players up for one of these preseason awards. And Dylan Hill is a guy who had a fantastic year in 2012. And he's already started out this year with a bang, picking up the save on Friday night. Dylan's a class act. I tell you what, you talked earlier in the show about the older guys with experience. He's one of the guys that's a, a role model for all of our players and our young kids that look up to the players. Because Dylan just does a great job leading by example on and off the field. Class act. All right, well, let's take a break. When we come back, we're going to take a look at the scout report for this weekend as your Lions will be down in Baton Rouge at Olive Box Stadium to take on BYU and LSU right here on Inside Southeastern Baseball with head coach JRT, presented by your local Southern Quality Four Dealers and also Champagne Beverage as we shoot from our new home here in 2013, Penny's Place in downtown Hammond. <laughs> 